Hello everyone, Thranx is here and welcome back to Conan Exiles episode 29. I was going to just log in and gather a bunch of stone and make a bunch of building parts as was recommended in one of my comments that I think is probably a good idea for what I want to build. I don't want everybody just to watch me gather stone for the next three days or however long I'm going to spend time gathering stone. Uh, I haven't really let any time pass as you can see. Everything is pretty much as it was when we left off because uh, when I logged in, there was a big update, a huge update. Uh, well, huge compared to how things have been so far. So one of the first things I noticed is when I went, oop, wrong button, when I went into my to my uh, skills, well, first of all, my stats don't seem to be here, which is somewhat odd. Oh, level up, vitals. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, no, that's, that's how it is. Anyhow, uh, my skill points are all intact. And then when I come here, it says feats have been updated. All of your crafting recipes have been reset due to significant changes in the progression system. So I believe they took out prerequisites for some items. So we're going to take our time and go through here and see what we're going to learn. We're going to learn apprentice craftsman, apprentice stonemason, experienced survivalist. These are important. The wooden box, we're going to need that. We're going to need the armor's bench. We're going to need... I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the medium harness does still take the light chest piece. We're going to go ahead and learn the armor that we need to continue with the progression of our armor. Uh, just to double check, the iron broadsword does require the stone sword. Let's so unlock that. The blacksmith. Okay, now here, you can learn Journeyman Craftsman without learning the Blacksmith or the Carpenter or any of that stuff. You just, uh, you won't be able to make your iron tools, obviously, without the Blacksmith ability. Oh, and now the Furnace also yields iron and steel reinforcements. So now the Fireball Cauldron is also a possibility. Hmm, interesting. Stretching hide. So let's, let's keep looking. They also, from what I understand, they tweaked the bow to fire further, and they tweaked the crossbow to fire faster. So that could be an interesting thing to try. I don't know if I'm going to do it right away. Let's go ahead and take Journeyman Craftsman, because we're going to need that. We're going to need Thrall Taker. I'm not backing out from that one. We're going to need the Tanner. And what do we have? The Sandstone Fence we had. The frames, stairs, wedge blocks, and let's go from there. We need the iron broadsword. From here, I believe we took the medium harness and the medium tacit. So now we have five points left. I do want my better torch. And then bracketed torch. No, we're going to take the standing torch for now because I like those. And then the question is, where is my Fireball Cauldron? Hmm. Did they move it further down? Ironmonger, no. Water well. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Fireball Cauldron. Says Journeyman Craftsman. Oh, it takes four points. I only have three. Okay, fine. But we can make this now. With the ability to make iron reinforcements from the blacksmith, it is no longer a trap to take the Fireball Cauldron first, which is exciting, but we don't have the points for that. Instead, I think what I'm going to take... Could take the bow. Probably should take the bow. And mess with the other stuff. I think we're going to need the pillars. We're going to focus on base building for now, but also the carpenter. No, we're going to take the... Oh, do I really... Do I really need this yet? I'm going to take it anyways, just, just so that I can recreate that crafting station. So this is kind of how it was before the reset. We can make a few extra things now. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, the other part of the update is... They made it so that your higher level tools, and we're going to test this out right now, your higher level tools actually gather more of the special resources as they intended. So I should be able to take my iron pick here, 
and see more bark. Uh, that didn't look like a whole lot. Let's try it again. Um, okay, maybe it's more bark. Well, oh yeah, there's four. Okay, so, yeah. So, getting more bark now with the iron pick is going to be even more of a reason to keep iron on hand, but it will also make keeping leather on hand a little easier. And it doesn't seem to be a huge difference. But before, the iron pick was really giving no difference. Now, the other thing that they changed, which makes me very sad, is that they uh, the patch notes said that emus give less experience, which I'm guessing are these ostrich-type creatures, which I'm um, pretty sure that's what they mean by emu. I have to do more research on that. But if that's the case, if they nerfed their experience, that's rather sad. They did, however, increase the experience you get for crafting, which means even though I'm going to be gathering a lot of stone off camera and making more building parts here for the next for the next big section of this episode, which is going to be base building, I'm liable to level up in that process just from the crafting. So I might save just a couple of the pieces left to craft until I'm ready to start recording again because then I can just show off what the difference in experience is. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Let's go ahead. We don't really have any branches. Let's take our branches. Let's just see what the standing torch gives. One, two, three, four, five. Probably not going to give as much as crafting a bunch of building materials. Yeah, it's, it's hardly noticeable, which is fine. But that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, and I'm just going to gather a lot of stone and start making a bunch of building materials and get ready for the rest of the episode, which is base building. If anything an eventful happens or, you know, I decide to go somewhere else, which probably won't happen, then, of course, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. So, see you in a few. We are back. Welcome back. No, I'm welcoming back. Anyways, welcome back. Um... So a couple things I want to talk about before I show off everything I've done. I've been doing this grinding now for, oh goodness, I think I've lost track of time. It's got to be close to three hours. And here's a few of the things I have come up with uh, to show you. First of all, leather is a lot easier to get because bark is a lot easier to get. It's almost not even worth using the axe now unless I'm trying to skin and get hide. The iron pick is the way to go because you get, you know, three wood and significantly more bark. So I've kept my tannery running pretty much constantly. The furnace, I had to I had, had to stop because I realized very quickly that my... Um, sorry, I've been trying to keep my inventory full to maximize the amount of stone I can carry. I had to do a heavy iron and hide leather run. Oh my goodness, that's ugly. I'm going to have to fix that. Anyways, a heavy iron and leather run because I was just wearing this iron pick down to the nub. I had to repair it so much, so often. I took everything out of the blacksmith, all the iron I had there, and just so I had to do a, uh, just a straight iron and leather run at one point in time just to make sure I had tons for repairs. And as you can see, between turning thick hide into regular hide at a 2 to 1 ratio and then the rate at which you get bark... I've got a ton of leather, and I got a good amount of iron bars as well. Now, that's above and beyond everything I've used to repair. As you can see, my experience, I didn't quite level up. I didn't notice a huge change in the experience for crafting, despite the fact that I crafted a lot. And the, and I haven't even done that much fighting. It's from what I noticed or from what I read, rather, from what I noticed, the, the experience change wasn't that good for lower level stuff and then I looked it up and confirmed that it is in fact the experience boost was mostly for higher level things. Now something I did notice that I want to show you, these antelopes, way easier to kill and they don't seem to give as much experience anymore. Same with the emus, which I'm about to show. Before I get to the building, I'm going to show off everything in just a second. The emus are, here we go, here's one. They don't give as much experience either, but they are also easier to kill. One, two, three hits, and they're dead. Now, at first, I thought maybe just the Iron Broadsword was stronger, but it is the same amount of damage. And every there are other things that take the same amount of hits, like the Rhino takes the same amount of hits. The 
the giant turtles take the same amount of hits. Now the thing with the rhino is he will no longer step through you and 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 you won't get stuck inside of him. That was also in the patch notes. Now there was another thing in the comments about the torches. As you can see, the, I have not messed with these torches since I logged in and started grinding. These torches are... Well, actually, I reloaded the game uh, one a time or two also because I had depleted the resources around my base so much. I wanted to log out and log back in just to get them to respawn. The torches are providing light, in fact, at nighttime, but their graphic does not represent a flame. In fact, it's the same with the forge. It will be lit up, but there will be no flame graphic unless you toggle them because you can see this is giving light. If I turn it off, it does reduce the light, but there's no flame graphic. So that is still a bug that the flame graphic does not appear unless you toggle the items off and then on again. Now, for the good stuff. I actually got so much stone and wood that I wanted to stockpile. I had to start stuffing it into these other chests. And I saved a lot of it in case I needed to make any specific parts. But I also, here's the big reveal, made a ton of building components. And as you can see, I made lots and lots of components of what I thought I would need. Still didn't quite level up. I did get a lot of experience considering that I didn't kill many animals. Uh, I used most of the hide that I had for leather. I had some in here and I used that up. I, I did kill a few uh, as I came across them if they were in my way. But mostly I was just trying to max out on getting, you know, six stacks of six stacks of stone and then I would go through and hit the trees with the pick to get bark and everything else. So let's start building. That's what I want to do. How much is this? Oh my goodness. That's that's a whole lot of encumbrance. I want to start. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I've been doing all this this whole time. I have not even checked on our archer friend, our thrall, who I'm sure is ready to go. Oh, if we went through all that gruel. Wait a second. Only half done? That can't be accurate. Wait, but I have one here. How does that... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll mess with that here in a second. We're going to... For now, we're going to build... I'm... I don't know if that's a bug. Oh, that's... I'm not going to get frustrated with it. It is just, you know, one of those things. I will have to look into it and see what's going on with that. Let's put up some torches up here so that we can see what we're doing. All right, I'm going to want a torch here. And even when I place them, they don't seem to have the flame graphic right away. I have to turn them off and then on again. And then one here. There, now we have these nice torches along our wall and on our stairs. I might put some railing here, I'm not sure. I like the look of the of the bare stairs and then the railing that starts up top it. Yeah, I kinda like that. Alright, let's get these torches away and let's start let's start building. Finally. Sorry to um what what is going on with this torch is bugged now? How interesting is that? Okay. It must have been because I still had it out when I put it in the box. Wow. Alright. Oh, what am I gonna do here? I want to uh, let's take six of those and we'll just take twenty of you for now stairs. I don't... We're going to need a door frame. Yeah, we're going to need at least... No, nope, that's too much. At least one for now. And one door for now. That's good. Let's, let's see how this looks. Okay, so my thought process, and it hasn't changed much. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile to put a foundation... I don't want that inside my building. No, that's what I'm going to do. Yes, okay, I'm a little ahead of myself. 
Ah, I need to get back into the mode of building. So first things first, we're going to get the foundations. Yep, we'll split them in half, and we're going to take uh, just a handful of steps. We'll put this door back for now. We're going to get the foundation situation squared away because my plan was to stack them. Now, I also did a little bit of research and discovered that the triangle foundations, in fact, don't stack. What is... are you not... What's going on? I'm not getting the highlight now for where these are going to go. Let's just experiment and see what happens. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm... Not sure what that's all about. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, am I really going to log out and log back in? I think I might have to. This isn't going to work if I can't see the outline for where my building materials are going to be. Mm, this update might have induced some glitches, actually. Let's just see. I have no visualization there. What about if I switch to the wall? I don't have visualization of the wall either. What is going on? So, just to give you a heads up, another glitch that I noticed, and I'm going to demonstrate it right now. I'm sorry, I thought I was going to be doing a bunch of building when I came, when I brought you back, but it looks like we're going to be doing some glitch analysis, or some bug analysis, rather. I can't seem to fill my placement is too far underneath the ground. What? Okay, I am going to have to log out and log back in, but something that I noticed that has persisted through logging out and logging back in, I cannot fill up the water skin with water at all, and it is not a glitch. It's not just that it's full of water and appears empty. It will not fill up with water at all. Err. Frustrating. Well, I do have another solution. If we're going to be blocked by bugs from building, which I hope is not the case. Let's. I'm going to log out and log back in before we rule anything out. I'll be right back. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. No, so as you can see, the building placement ghost that you get when you go to put stuff down for your building is gone. Wow, so it looks like this patch may have busted a couple of things. How concerning. So you can't fill up the water flask, and you can't... And you can't place buildings. So I've, I've prepared for this. I did some research online to see if maybe there was any possible way that people had... Other people had noticed this, but really the patch just came out today. So it hasn't really been reported yet. And so I was like, well, I need to come up with a plan in case this this is a serious thing that's not going to go away. So what I decided was, as I, as I did some research, I learned that followers of Mitra gain... Let's get, let's get enough for repairs here. They gain the ability and I'm sure you already know this, to get Ambrosia, which allows you to heal. And given the difficulty we had during our last attempt to capture Thralls, I'm... Oh, look at this. It still says cannot place object while overlapping. Failed to place building. Oh, what is going on? Okay, maybe that will fix it. Oh man, okay, wow. I assume that that will get hot fixed very fast. So unfortunately we're gonna have to postpone the base building. Very anticlimactic, I know, but anyways, so my plan was to go learn the Mitra religion because they learn the ability to heal. And as I understand it, the person is somewhere over here and this is a very interesting place anyways. So we're going to go check that out. Now, because the water skin, the water skin flask will not hold water, this is going to be rather sporty. I, I'm sure that people that are playing on official servers right now are likely losing their mind to these glitches and issues. 
I need to start working on my experience more. I'm not not gaining a level from all that crafting really disheartens me, so I'm going to have to start killing everything I come across. But in the meantime, we're going to go learn the Mitra religion. Now, also one of the things that they changed in the patch for the better is that you no longer... Ooh, like Spike. You no longer lose your religion when you respec your skills. So that is an increase, or a benefit, rather. Yeah, let's just let's just go. We'll learn the Mitra religion. We'll see some new stuff. We'll just put off our building till they get that stuff hot fixed. There's really no other way we're going to be able to handle it. As I said, I'm sure the people who are playing on official servers are just losing it right now because they're not going to be able to build. They're not going to be able to go on any kind of long distance journeys that take them away from water it's going to be some serious it, serious issues for them no 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 all right oh little nerve-wracking i need to pay attention to what i'm doing i need to be heading yep this way now the river is right down the cliff so as long as there is a easy passage up and down it shouldn't be a problem to get water if I need it. But, yeah, it looks like the building got iced for now. I'm sure they're going to fix that fast, though. That's that's kind of a game-breaking bug. And I'm sure people are going to be hitting the forums up pretty quick once they realize that there's no way to get building placement icons. Yeah, because then you're just guessing. Well, I hope this wall's in the right spot. And after I did all that hard work to get all those building materials, that's not going to be a thing. So, th so this episode is going to end up being... Oh, snap! Oh, this is going to be dangerous. No, 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 you don't. Okay, all right. Another reason these are the these are the dark spiders too. Another reason we need to get that that life-giving ambrosia. All right. I believe I'm not I've not been over this way. So I'm not sure This looks like a pretty solid bet. We're going to go ahead and start conserving our stamina. I also read in the patch notes they removed the corruption in the lower level caves, which too little too late for us, but now that we have the Wheel of Pain, we should be able to get us an Entertainer Thrall here eventually, especially once I get a nice heal over time, like the Ambrosia, because then I'll be able to... I'll be able to raid these villages a little more effectively instead of the disaster we had. Item broken on my sword, let's bring it back. And we should be able to get an Entertainer Thrall easily, I would hope. Wow, the spiders. I'm really wigged out here. If you want me, you're going to have to come around the corner to get me. Yep, this is a way through, so you're going to have to come back here and fight me. Mm. Wow, respawn already. Yeah, that's... That's treacherous. Let's just leave them to it. <gasps> I hear more. Whoa. I'm really, really wigged out. We have spare iron tools and tons of iron and leather. We don't have a whole lot on us. The biggest hit would probably be the leather armor, but I made a bunch extra. Now I probably will try to gather some iron on the way back. Wait, I need to be up there. How did I end up on this section? Or do I? Can I go around that way? I think I need to... I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over in this, this section here, which means I might need to go across this land bridge. I don't know if I want to go back through those spiders, though. You think this water's deep enough to jump? Ooh, it looks like it might be. Oh, how dangerous is it going to be down there? Well, we, we're not encumbered. 
let's go ahead and... Oh, man. Really? <sighs> no, let's... Let's try to... <laughs> I'm gonna think better of it. At least with the spiders, I have a chance. My health is up. I have good armor. Oh, they, they just... They're respawning so quickly. All right, we got one. Come on. Got you. Got you. Ooh, gained a level. Boy, those spiders seem to give good experience. Oh, another good reason to go ahead and push through and, and, and take them on. You gonna let me up here? No. So where is this? Okay, so we need to keep going around this way. We did gain a level, so what I'm gonna do right now with that level is I'm going to take another strength, and we'll we'll look at the recipes later. For now, we're just going to press on with no no encumbrance, not really gathering anything, to go try to learn the Mitra religion, so that that way, like I said, we'll be more effective at... Oh, snap. Maybe this isn't a good... I don't see anybody. What's going on here? Oh, man. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Now, I, I did look at a map to see where the Mitra religion was. Oh, snap. Crossbows. Yeah. That's going to be bad. All right. All right. No, no, no. We're going this way. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're going to have to go back through spider zone. Uh, I guess we are going to take that land bridge. I'm not going... I'm not cutting through their village. That's going to be suicide. Come on! Still three hits. That strength didn't buy us one less attack on the spiders. That would have been nice. Okay. Alright. Not so bad. So maybe, I don't think there's a passage underneath this. I need to get to the other side. Boy, getting back is going to be very challenging. So my plan is... Oh, we could kind of trickle down this. Yeah, let's go down this. Surely this will be less fall damage. Oof, oof, please. Oh, okay, all right. Probably should have just jumped in the water. Might have been safer. I don't see anything really treacherous, though, to worry about. Let's continue. We'll just be dropping down a little bit at a time. Okay. So we made it down here. What we're going to need to do is make a bed in this area. I should have brought one is what I should have done. We need three twine. One, two, three. Okay. Let's refill up our water. We'll eat some meat. Oh, man, I might not have brought... I might have actually brought too little steak with me on this trip. Alright, so we'll follow the river. And we'll make ourselves a bed. And we'll just keep it on our hot bar. Now what I need to do is get up there. Who sees me? Okay, crocodile. That I can handle. Come on. Nope. There you go. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and cut you up. That thick hide, I realize, is where it's at as far as getting hide quickly and easily. Uh, I'll convert that later. You know what we're going to need? We're going to need a campfire to cook food, most likely. We'll start picking up sticks along the way. More spiders branches. I keep... Um, I'm gonna say sticks forever. I did mean branches. Alright, let's go up here. I'm gonna keep our encumbrance low as long as possible, though. Can't have ourselves losing stamina very quickly. Alright. 
Not gonna run while we're clip crippled. That's just a big waste of. Was that a cave over there? No. It's just a little indentation into the mountain. It's more growling. I don't know what that is. But I don't like it. Let's stay away from it. Alright, so that looks like the land bridge we need. Hopefully, it's not guarded. Oh, did you respawn already? We need to get out of here is what we need to do. Wow, those spiders give good experience, though. That spider's going to respawn, I bet, really, really fast. Let's, let's put some distance between us and that spot. Oh, okay, I'm a little nervous. I don't want to put down my bedroll just yet, though. Oh, here we go. All right. Wow, this is actually a much further journey than I thought. Oh! What? Oh, come on. Run, 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 run. Let's just hang out here for one second. I am not sure what got me. Okay, we have a torch. Is that spider attacking us or Oh, those are those are rock noses. Okay, I think at this point we're going to Woo! Okay. This isn't this isn't really a safe place to put down a bed though. Let's try to get to the other the other coast. Oh, I hear something. Spider somewhere saw me. Need a safe zone to put this down. Something is aggroed on me. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, I'm hit with crippling poison. Darn it. I don't want to run further ahead, though. <gasps> A lot of spiders in here. And I can't see them. Okay, you can be killed. Come on. You're dead. Oh, tell me that's not after me. Let's just hide out here for a moment. Woo, my heart is pounding. Now, I know the penalty for dying is not going to be too severe. Like I said, I have plenty of resources at home, and I do want to put down a bed. Oh, look at that floating rock. But I was hoping to put down the bed closer to the entrance to the village, although I think... No, because spiders saw me over here. I need to get to a zone where I'm not really aggroing anything and then put my bed down there. Let's let's go back across the river. Yep, I hear the combat music. Let's go ahead and run, 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 run. Here we go, spider. Where's the other one? Yep, okay. All right. Let's save our stamina. Hopefully they don't respawn that fast. Wow, there are a lot of spiders in this there in this zone. But I am going to get experience so quickly. Oh, you just run right up on me. Good. I like it when you do that. Oh, but not your friend. Come on. Okay. Woo! Pull back. Pull back. All right, good. Nighttime is fading away. That's what I want. Oh, there's NPCs up here too. All right. I think this is a good spot for a bed. Woo! Let's go ahead and put our little camp down. Right somewhere here. I just saw a good place right there. 
Alrighty then. So we just need to go up and over this bridge and over there. What could possibly go wrong? Or maybe I could follow the river? I got aggro. It's not good if this bed is within aggro range of something. Ugh. What was that? A lot of these rock nose over here. I'm just gonna let my health recover. I should have put the bed over here. Yeah, down here in this little... Should have put the bed, like, right here. Wonder if I can make another one easily, easily enough. I sure can. Two, three. Let's... Let's just do that real quick, actually. Craft, and then we'll dismantle the old one. Whoo! Whoa. Okay, that's gotta be the rock nose fighting with other stuff. This area looks pretty safe to me. Spawn point updated there. Good. Oh! Oh man. He must have followed me down there. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's still a pretty safe area to spawn. It didn't look like he was coming through there. Let's dismantle this. No reason to keep that there. All right, we got our bedroll close by. I don't want to fight a big army of NPCs. I just want to learn the ways of Mitra. That's all. Okay, so there's a camp over that way, but not over this way. That's good news. More spiders, though. Oh, they're going to make me work for this. Yes, they are. There you go. Get some of that iron broadsword. Ooh, and your friend, huh? Come on. Another spider crud. Pull back, pull back. Come to me. There you go. All right. Ooh, please don't respawn that quickly. All right, there's a rhino. There's a camp over there. We're not going to go that way. Let's see what's up this way. Wow, I should have been killing spiders this whole time to level up. Oh, don't tell me it's... What is this? Here. A lot of nothing. More spiders. All right, we're going to have to go around the other way. Goodness. All right, this rhino, though, can handle this rhino. Ooh, if I repair my sword quickly. Rhino is also going to be worth my time to skin for the same reason, that thick hide. And we'll just drop all the bones. Yep. Okay. And we're over the... Oh, snap. Repair. Yeah, we're going to need that hide now, actually. All right, go ahead and craft it. I'm going to start repairing our items. Our armor that we've lost. So the episode I'm, I'm noticing is going a little long. Oh, my water. My water is being depleted. But, but I want to go ahead and do my best to get to where I'm going before I stop recording. I'm sure that you can appreciate that. Boots fully repaired. Let's get ourselves a little more hide. And then, oof, we might have to make a... After we come up all this way, we might have to end up going down to the river anyways, because the darn flask just... still empty as it ever was. Let's go ahead and... repair that. How does that look? That looks good. So we have enough for two more sword repairs. There's a big group of guys over there. Nope. That's what I was worried about. We're going to go this way. 
and kind of take the long way around. Oh wow, look at that. This is where I wanted to be, right? Maybe? No, those are those are combat ready individuals right there. Alright, let's go this way. It's a good thing we don't have any encumbrance to worry about. Ooh, who's on me? No. We're just gonna take the long way around. That's the safe bet. Let's do that. Wow, some really cool rock formations here, though. This area is really neat. We can go ahead and stop this crafting. We have we have plenty of hide now. I think we're going to need another bed. I'm going to get it ready just in case. Now, is there a way down to water over here? I don't know. We're going to keep... Uh, well, I don't want water to become an issue. Let's stay clear away from that NPC camp. Oh, this is a really great area over here. Is there water there? It doesn't look like... Ugh. Ooh. I know that they're far away, but when I hear that noise, it just kind of makes my heart skip a beat just a little bit. It's a pretty terrifying noise. Look at this. It's like a pirate ship. Man, see, I heard something about a pirate ship here, but I I had no idea. Oh, this area looks nice, and uh, I was going to say safe. They're in battle stance. What's over here? They're in battle stance. Back up slowly. Slowly. Oh, I can't believe water is going to become a factor after we've done all this and come all this way. No, I think... I think what we need is not here on this side, though. Okay. Alright. We're gonna... I'm not going to leave you hanging... I'm not going to leave you guys hanging on this episode without finding the NPC that teaches the Mitra religion. Now, how we will get back home, I don't know. But I'm not going to abandon my mission. Yeah, see, I think he's up there. I want to say what I read was that he's on a cliff overlooking the pirate ship. It's like a pirate ship made of stone, though. That's really cool. So how can I get over there? Is there an entrance on that side? Oh, we're gonna need water soon. Mm hmm. No, let's stick with where we are. It took us a while to get over here. Let's stay over here on this side. Try to... Uh, navigate up that cliff to get to the bridge there? I didn't see a way to do that. So I'm not entirely sure how to get to where I'm going, which is a little scary. Whoa, what is that? Sorry, I gotta know. Brimstone. Interesting. Oh, there's a good bit of it over here, actually. I don't think there's a way to get up there from over here. Okay. All right, a little bit of back and forth. I am very sorry about that. You know, it's part of the exploration process. I didn't want to... I felt bad enough just looking at the map where to, where to find this guy. I didn't want to, you know, watch a video and have it all pre-planned. Part of the fun for me in playing games when I'm not trying to master them at the highest difficulty is the raw exploration of just figuring stuff out. It doesn't appear to me like we can get there from this side. And since we're about to become severely dehydrated... Oh, that's a camp. We're not going down on that side. Since we're about to become severely dehydrated, I think it's time we found our way to the water. Oh, I don't think that water's deep enough. At all. No, that water is not deep enough. We need to find 
some gradual ledges to fall down, maybe... Well, we're at full health. Let's just see what happens. Ooh! Okay, I could have at least aimed for the middle. Alright, let's take it easy. We're hurt really bad now. We'll see if this area over here... Let's make ourselves another bed. We'll see if this area over here has a way up. It looks like it might. Wow. Anywhere... This is all really cool stuff, though. The map is deceptively large. Who's hostile? Is it the... I don't see an... I don't see a crocodile. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here and heal for a second. The map, though, looks incredibly small. I didn't think it would be that big of a journey to go from here to here. I really didn't. And lo and behold... It was... an incredible journey. Oh, again, I hadn't done a ton of research. I feel like part of that reason is because I really expected to be building a base this episode, so I'd done all this planning and all of this gathering, and I had anticipated, you know, showing off all kinds of building ideas. But in the end, really it just shows you have to be flexible. Can't take it for granted. Especially in early access, there's going to be all kinds of bugs. Oof, we need to we need to heal. This is going to be bad. We need our health back. Nope. That sounds like two different spiders. All right, we need to go up that way. But what we need to do first is take out these spiders. You, and then... No, he ran over to me. One, two, three. Yeah, none of that crippling poison for me, please. All right, we need to go up this way. Okay. No. Okay. Now the good news is, as I said, we can respec our points without losing our religion now in the future. So that's going to be really handy. I'm pretty sure that's the ledge we're trying to get to. Whew. We might be out of the woods. I do have a bed handy. A lot of iron here. More spiders. Get away from the spiders. I don't want I don't know how quickly they respawn, but I know that some of yeah, look, they respawn incredibly quickly. That might need to be nerfed eventually. Oh, more of them. Tell me that's not our person dead. Oh, that would make me so sad. Come on. Nope. Oh no, what's happening? They can't hit me and I can't hit them? How bizarre. I wonder... Let's try going down here. Just for a second. No, I'm just... This is... Okay. I, I, I was just... Ugh! Oh, there we go. Hold on, I clipped one of them. There we go. Got you. Okay, so whatever the issue was in the world, it has fixed itself. Oof, there's our person. Okay. Oh. Bugs, bugs, and more bugs, but we made it. Jamelia, the pirate queen. Watch a shadow, Cully. You've not the oh. saltwater stagger of the Learn regular fools emu. who come seeking the blade of the butcher of Quarzine. So we'll talk if no. you keep your distance. Um. Okay. Learn religion, acolyte of Mitra. Please and 
thank you we did it cheers and applause and yeah okay and we'll learn the, em the emote too why not hmm come to gawk at the captain who lost her ship and her crew no twice the captain and twice the exile now thanks to those mutinous dogs i put the salt oh. back in their blood and this is how they repay me <laughs> treacherous bastards the black hand only exists because of me Easy. They, they heard that echo, I'm sure. <sighs> when I was exiled here, like the others, I was adrift. Directionless. They burned my hands before they cut me loose. Burned them into the twisted flesh lumps you see today. I had to learn Ouch. everything anew. How to eat. How to fight. How to survive. Darn. Make no mistake, exile, this place is a crucible. We are being shaped and molded to... Some malevolent plan. Okay. On the Vilayet, <laughs> I always knew our heading. There is always another Turanian sail to burn, another fortune to be won. But here, I needed a new course. Right. <laughs> there were rogues aplenty. Barakans, Zingaran freebooters, and members of the Red Brotherhood. Exiles all. I gathered them together, and I offered them a promise. If we could work together, I would find us a way back to the ocean. How did that work out? And that was how the Black Hand began. Okay. The rules of the Red Brotherhood allow any crew member to challenge the captain. I tried to keep the same tradition in the Black Hand. Any who could best me could take my position. Well then. Mutinous cowards didn't even try. They just waited until I was asleep, then chained me to the hull. Ooh. Never trust a pirate. Well, especially if his name is first mate Athelus. Fair enough. Look, I, I don't really do treasure maps <laughs> as a rule, but there is something in the ruins of that city. In the city of ruin, Doom. But the floor looks like a map, and embedded in that floor are gems. I'm not going to the My city of Doom anytime soon. bracelet was glowing soon. like witch fire, and all of the gems on the floor were lit up to match it. I don't hold with sorcery, so I got my crew out of there. After we tried to pry up a few of the gems, naturally. Hmm. Fair enough. May the wind guide you. Yep, exactly. that's enough. That's enough talking. Sorry about that interruption. My game got really squirrely there for a moment, and I was afraid that something bad was going to happen. So I just pretty much logged out and logged back in. I don't know if this plateau has some weird glitch with it. I'm, I'm sure you saw what's going on with the spiders. I'm not exactly sure what the issue was, but I thought, oh, no, 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 don't. Okay, that's just standard frame rate drop when you first load the game. But I did. I had to, I had to log out completely and then log back in. So I just wanted to say I'm not going to take up any more of your time. This is where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. I wanted to talk a little bit about the base building and the time lapse or the time that we skipped recording and everything else. But we didn't get to do that. We had to be flexible. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Conan Exiles, episode 29, if a bit long. I hope you had a good time watching. As always, I had a good time playing, so please come back next time when hopefully they will hotfix this building bug and we can get to building with all those wonderful materials I gathered. But until then, take care.